Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be discussing about logical data warehouse. So let's get into the video. Logical data warehouse is also called as unified meta store. Right, you call it as a unified meta store. Unified meta store. Now what is it? What is the concept behind it? The concept is quite simple to understand. You have an underlying lake. Right, so this is your ADLS Gen 2, ADLS Generation 2. Okay. This contains your real data, all your real data, whatever your data is, your data files whatever our data files are are being stored over here in a proper hns hierarchical namespace right so you store all your data in a proper hns over here now the question that arises is if you have a team of data analysts so here is a data analyst The data analyst has an expertise in SQL. He says, I am a SQL expert. Right, so here is a team of data analyst. The team of data analyst says, we shall do some interactive queries on the lake. What do you mean by interactive queries? Interactive queries means you do a query, you get a result. You do a query, you get a result. Interactive approach of queries. It's not that you're going to do a query and you'll wait for a minute and then you'll get an answer. No, interactive responses, online transactional processing, online analytical processing, pre-calculating all the material aggregates to make it online. So they want to do interactive queries on the lake files. They want to do ad hoc, ad hoc analytics, temporary ad hoc analytics. They want to do permanent analytics lot of things are there there are two ways of doing it each one of them can individually access the files direct access direct access but for that everyone has to do it individually right direct access there is nothing called as permanent in it it's temporary ad hoc direct access temporary and ad hoc temporary ad hoc direct access mode now it is possible it is possible but the any company that is serious about their security posture may never allow this to happen if they are concerned about their security so if they are concerned about security security so if they are concerned about security they may never allow anyone to directly touch this data sorry direct access not allowed then what to do if direct access is not allowed by the organization then what do we do so we develop an intermediate layer on top of this lake so you develop an intermediate you develop an intermediate layer on top of it right an interfacing layer what you you can call it by the name interfacing layer this layer that we develop and it is the core job of a data engineer to develop it Develop the lake, develop this layer as per the design documents, right? So, develop this layer. This layer is called as a unified meta store. Unified meta store, meta store, unified meta store. We can call this also as 
we also call it sometime as a logical warehouse logical data warehouse data virtualization layer what is it now this is a unif this is a metadata layer which if queried will in turn query the underlying objects as if that's why called data virtualization you are not given access directly here you are given access to this layer so this p these people will call the objects created here objects so here are some objects business objects that are created here they will query those objects and their query will trickle down here response going to come out and will go to that individual because these objects are permanent this person can also query that object same the query will go and return the output here so this is a permanent way of doing the queries they will give it the data analyst team would be given the access to these objects the objects are not storing data they are storing metadata data about the data right they are not storing data data is stored here so we hit these metadata objects with our query that query that in turn goes to the underlying documents underlying files we get the output we give the output back to the data analyst and all this that you see a permanent secure way of querying this so the serverless sql pool is used here as well as here serverless sql pool you use the serverless sql pool yeah it's almost like a view the serverless sql pool is used in both the scenarios direct access model and the metadata model and i will now just show you both of them and this module is just this small simple concept of leveraging the serverless sql pool for direct access and leveraging the serverless sql pool for the ad hoc access so guys if you liked our video then do give us a thumbs up but if you really want to learn more about with the particular topic we discussed then we have something really special for you we have our free class on microsoft azure data engineer certification that is dp203 along with some question and answers where we'll be discussing about why is everyone working on data importance of some azure services you should learn and many more things so for that all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash azure de02 and after that you'll be seeing a screen like this just click on book your free seat now select your event date whenever you're available reserve your spot by adding your name your email address and your phone number and you'll be getting all the updates via mail you'll be seeing this kind of window on extreme right so you can save this link add to your calendars and i'll see you in the free class till then keep hustling and take care